Hi, this is Alan, and what you're looking at right now is a large heart nebulizer. And this is used for continuous medication aerosol therapy. Uh, this is when you're going to be giving more than one treatment at a time. Uh, we've seen the small volume nebulizer, then we saw the breath actuated nebulizer. Now you're looking at the large heart nebulizer. And if you look closely, you'll notice that this has uh, the ability of containing a large volume of uh, liquid and this is going to be your normal saline for inhalation and also your bronchodilator. Um, when we're looking at this uh, we're going to be setting our flow rate at either 10 liters per minute or 15 liters per minute and it's going to give us a total output of approximately 30 milliliters per hour and it's very important that once you set your uh, device up and you see it misting that you come back and you check at least the first two hours to make sure that the uh, amount of medication and dilutant that's supposed to go to the patient per hour, which would be 30 milliliters per hour, that it actually is registering that. If you only notice that it was starting at 100 milliliters inside the 150 milliliters inside the large heart nebulizer, and you came back one hour later, and there was only 140 left, then you know that your nebulizers only nebulize 10 milliliters for that hour and that, that your patient is not receiving the amount of medication that they need to. So that you would have to increase the output, which would mean that you probably need to increase your flow rate. You increase your flow rate, it mists more, and the patient receives more. You come back an hour later and you notice that now it is now nebulizing and the decrease in the volume inside the large heart has decreased by the 30 milliliters per hour as prescribed. Um, what makes up that volume of fluid inside there? Well that's going to be between how many milligrams of your bronchodilator that you're going to put in there and how much of a dilutant or normal saline you're going to mix. Um, this varies from hospital to hospital. Uh, your insert that comes with your large heart uh, gives you dosing instructions and I'm going to back up and I'm going to place this on the counter and I'm going to show you that dosing sheet. Your large heart nebulizer comes with uh, some inserts. And I think it's extremely important that whenever you use a piece of equipment that you're not familiar with or you haven't used in a regular, uh, you don't use it on a regular basis, it's nothing, there's nothing wrong with looking at the instructions. That's why they're there. Uh, this one actually gives you a small little picture as to how you're supposed to set up the device. It also tells you that you can set it up for 10 liters per minute to give an output of 30 liters per hour. Or you could set it at a flow of 15 liters per minute on the flow meter to give you an output of 50 milliliters per hour, per minute. So, based on what you set your flow meter at, that's going to determine how fast or how, what is the output of the device. Um, you want to check that at least every hour. And when you're giving a patient uh, continuous aerosolized medication, over a long period of time, you want to make sure that you're not just checking the heart rate, respiratory rate, breath sounds, but you want to have this patient probably in a telemetry unit. You want them to be in an intensive care area. Um, they should be on telemetry, pul continuous pulse oximetry. You need to check their electrolytes because you could be looking at a fluid overload. You could see the uh, cardiac effects of giving too much of the medication. We've talked about beta 1, beta 2, we looked at the alpha effects, but your instructions for your dosing are also included in your um, large heart nebulizer. Uh, one side shows you for 10 liters per minute, the other side shows you for 15 liters per minute. And what's very nice about this one here is it gives you an example that if you wanted to give a patient 5 milligrams of prevental per, per hour, and you wanted to give it for three hours, you'd go down the column where it said five milligrams per hour, and then you'd find the corresponding column up top that said three hours, and then you would go across and come down, and you would notice that you have to add three milliliters of the uh, albuterol. 
your bronchodilator, and your total volume would be 150 milliliters. You would run that at 15 liters per minute. You'd want to make sure that you checked the first hour that you were having the 50 milliliters uh, of volume being uh, distributed to the patient. And then after the three hours, your large heart should be almost empty. I do want to bring up one more point that the uh, medication does reconcentrate at the very bottom. Um, more than likely, the medication that the patient's receiving, the Prevental, will be more concentrated towards the end of the treatment than it was at the beginning. So just want to bring that up. Uh, when you're looking at your patient and you're doing a large volume heart nebulizer, uh, know that uh, you have two different ways of delivering the medication at 10 liters per minute or 15 liters per minute. Look at your dosing. This is not something someone's going to memorize. This is something that can be on your fingertips. You've got to remember what I've said several times, and it's not always brains on top, it's brains on tap. And you need to go to your hospital policies. I'm sure there's one on giving continuous uh, medication aerosols and also on the inserts of the devices that you're going to use when uh, delivering this type of therapy. Uh, this again, this is for your large heart nebulizer. Uh, make sure you read your inserts and remember that if you're going to give your patient more than one treatment, you're going to give them several treatments, you're going to probably use a setup very similar to this. And this is a large heart nebulizer.